Hello, you're stuck to health wolf. Gorlock Pimits riffing on IT and IT security. Today, looking at password cracking with artificial intelligence. You know, the idea of artificial intelligence uh, has always been an exciting one. And as a matter of fact, it's that very idea combined with computer hacking that got so many of us into this. Have you ever read, uh, read like the book Neuromancer or heard about Wintermute, all right? This idea of AIs partnered with hackers cracking ice. It's amazing. It's amazing, cutting edge, cool stuff. Uh, and some people have taken it too far. Some people have built religions around AI. I'll get back to that in a minute. But this concept still of AI and hacking tools coming together is a really appealing one and one that we haven't seen much traction uh, gained in the past couple decades. Now, tip for you, check out this recent paper. I'm linking to it in uh, in comments uh, on, um, on uh, generative adversarial networks, AI for password cracking. This team created one of these uh, GAN networks, GAN, uh, and trained it with like millions of passwords, right? Trained it with millions of passwords to predict what the next word password would be. Uh, and they found they found those operating like twice as fast as, as Ripper, because with something like Ripper, you're brute forcing passwords. Um, who knows? Who knows what it is? It takes a long time. Brute force takes a significant amount of time, especially if those passwords are hashed, because you're trying multiple different passwords, multiple different character variations with multiple different hashes. Now, by contrast, if you have an AI that's just randomly picking out words that seem to match what most people pick for the passwords, that's almost more close to what traditional hackers do, right? We uh, we type in summer 17 and get in one time in 20. Uh, we type in the pet name, right? With an exclamation mark, because exclamation marks are secure. All passwords with exclamation marks, very, very secure. So we do things like that and we're able to get in, right? This same concept is now being used for these AIs where they're guessing what the passwords are and then they get in and like one time in 10, like that, which is significantly better than trying to brute force passwords. Pretty cool stuff check it out on the link. Now, my concern about this is people take it a little bit too far. Also, check out on the links. The guy who uh, came up with Google's self-driving car led that unit for a while. Yeah. He just started a religion for AIs. The singularity got ahead. Seems a little crazy to me. I think uh, first, let's get them to guess passwords. Um, then maybe to do predictive analytics then maybe we'll think about religion in a few decades. I think we're a little bit ahead of the curve. Uh, what do you think about password cracking, AI in general as an adversarial tool, or religion with AIs? Let me up in comments or social media. Cheers.